What is going on, guys? Um, I wanted to go. I just, <laughs> I don't even know how this video is going to go. So, I may post it. I may not. Um, I've been doing a lot of different videos as of late to not just keep you guys entertained, but to keep the channel entertained, to keep everybody entertained about everything that's going on in the world. And it really sucks because in this time, we need to be not just smart, but also very, have, have common sense um, to, to stay at home. And it's been really upsetting me because the longer this goes on, it, it makes it harder, not just on myself, but everybody within my community of where I live, where everybody lives, you know, whether it be your, your mom, dad, cousin, uncle, aunt, brother, sister, grandparents, whatever, it's causing them longer to stay at, stay home because you've got other people that are not wanting to stay home. And I can understand if you're an essential worker. I have a lot of friends that's an essential worker. Um, I myself has been, I've been considered an essential worker more than once. Um, unfortunately, I'm not working due to all this, so it sucks. But I'm really going to target the people. And, and I'm not trying, well, when I say target, I want to say I want to point towards the individuals that are, being honest, stupid. I've been seeing a lot of things, especially with, and, and not just people, you know, in the communities, but celebrities, government, politicians. And I don't like getting into this. I really don't. But <clears throat> if you are not an essential person that works in a store, driver, police, firefighter, military, something that is essential, stay your effing ass home. It is not that big of a deal to stay home. You will get through it. I've seen all these yahoos that, and especially, I'm going I'm to go ahead and say the ones in Pensacola. Um, since I'm since my hometown is close to there and I've been to Pensacola several times, these idiots that were having a party, a block party, on Easter Sunday. Are y'all stupid? Having the entire community come out and you, yo, and then later on y'all are going to bitch about, oh, but this person sick, this person sick. I wonder why. Because y'all didn't stay home. Hmm. I wonder why. Then you got all these people that's wanting to get upset about, you know, trying to return stuff. You're the dummy that wanted to buy all this and hoard it from people, and now you can't return it. Why? Because nobody else wants, you know, sloppy seconds of what you use, you use to wipe your ass with or what you use to, to you know, wipe your dong or, or your, your, you know, your, your coochie for something. That's, that's disgusting. Hoarding water, hoarding food, hoarding... Dog food, even. I, I've had people tell me they came to get dog food or stuff for their babies. Formula, diapers, whatever. People are not social distancing themselves. And then people wanting to put out there, oh, we're going to reopen the beaches. That's that's stupid. And I'm from a beach state, guys. I'm from Florida. And, and you're not going to go, oh, well, we're going to reopen the beach. Are, are you stupid? And there's people already out there assuming within 30 minutes as soon as they open because, oh, I love the beach. I have to be on the beach. No, you don't. I want to tell you guys something. I went through two and a half years of pretty much living in and out of hotels and on the street. I didn't have anything. I had. I, I was lucky if I had a roof over my head, food, water, and a place for myself, my family, and my dogs. I got through it. I didn't have a PS4 like I do now. I didn't have an Xbox. I, I had a TV. Everybody had a share between four adults and five dogs in one room, and I'm tired of seeing all these people about, oh, well, I'm bored, I'm bored, my kids are bored, I, I got to do this, I got to do that, no, you don't, if I can get through that, then y'all can get through that, there are people out there that have less than I do, more than I do, that are bitching about saying that they don't know how to handle boredom, there are ways to deal with boredom, I'm dealing with boredom, but I'm still here, you will still be here, and and if I if I'm coming across a certain way to anybody, then you know what? Th there's the imaginary door for you. You guys should know me well enough. If you guys have been on my channel, I do not mix words. I am straight to the point. 
I don't like talking about all this stuff because it really gets under my skin. Because the longer this goes on, the longer I'm out of work and other people are out of work. The other people that I care about may get sick. My loved ones may get sick if I work. Be my luck, I get it, and the next thing you know, I get with somebody else. Whether it be my mother, my grandparents, my pets, one of my best friends, or, or, or some random stranger. I don't want nobody to get this, but nobody's wanting to stay home. Nobody's wanting to listen. And you got a lot of positivity, but you got a lot of negativity out there too, where people are like, oh, it ain't going to hurt me, it ain't going to hurt me. Dude, yes, it will. It will hurt you. You know how many kids I've seen that have been born with this virus and people are wanting to have children during this, which ain't smart. Then you're wanting to have people that are wanting to start ominous BS about, <clears throat> you, know, pol- you know, politics and all this, that, and the other. Dude, this was going on two, three years ago, and it could have been... It could have been done, but but did anybody do anything about it? No, because it was not a pandemic. It was too late to even start before it got worse, and that's what's going on right now. I've done my research. This could have been done way back when. Nobody knew about this unless you were in the health department, and nobody was notified until the last minute, until it got out of control. So... If you really want to blame somebody, you can blame the health departments and you can also blame all these yahoos and, you know, government offices that honestly don't know how to do their job because obviously this could have been, you know, taken care of by them. And also you could have people that could have, you know, if, they, if, if people would stay home, if they're not working, if they don't got to go to the store, you can order stuff if you're able to go to the store, come there, come right home. There are ways you can get it done. You can go outside for a few hours, maybe, you know, walk around your neighborhood, walk around your, you know, wherever you live, but don't, you know, keep that distance. Wash your hands. Don't cough on nobody. Don't spit on nobody. Don't, 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 less contact the better. Why is it so hard for everybody? Why? It, you know, and I got plans. Next month, that may not go through. I have plans for the summer, may not go through. Why? Because nobody's wanting to listen, and that's what's making me angry. I have plans. Other people have plans. But, oh, so-and-so's plan is more important than this person's plans. You know what? If that's what you are, then guess what? You're a selfish son of a gun. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, you're selfish. If you cannot look past your own BS for the safety of another person. This is a rant, guys. I know it possibly came across as a rant, and I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I'm just, I am so drained of seeing all this nonsense of people that don't want to listen. To stay home. Let me know what you think. You guys agree? That's fine. If you don't agree, that's fine too. We have all our own opinions. We have free will. And you don't have to agree with me. But for the safety of your own self and your own family, don't don't be an idiot and don't and don't put other people at risk just because you want to go to a bar or you want to go get drunk or you want to go get laid or you want to go, you know, have a drink or smoke weed or whatever. You can do that at home. I'm pretty sure you can do that at home. You can order. You can have your girl come over, your man, whoever. You'll find a way. If you're smart, you'll find a way. But that's it, guys. See you on the next one.